All right, so this is Turtle Bay. It's pretty amazing. This big, massive tank right here, essentially a pool. I'm a feed Triton, the big guy. He's one of my faves. So look at that big guy saying hi to the camera. How cool is that? She is roughly like about 400 pound sea turtle. Good morning, Aqua Beasts. Welcome back to another one. Today we are at the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rehab and Rehabilitation Center. Now, as you, if, if you're a subscriber, you know I go to UNCW here in North Carolina. And uh, this is a sea turtle hospital I've been internshipping at um, for this whole semester. So for like four months now, every Saturday from eight to four, I've been here um, working at Saving Turtles and it's been an awesome experience. And today we're gonna take you on a little tour of the whole facility. We're gonna show you how we feed them, clean the tanks, do all that stuff. And then you guys can come check it out for yourself. But uh, let's get this tour on the way. All right, so now that we are in the building, this is essentially the front. Down this hallway, you essentially get a tour about all the sea turtle facts. Um, and I'll, I'll walk you guys through, give you a couple facts. But essentially right now, I think there's roughly like 60 sea turtles here, which is pretty incredible. And um, they all come in for different reasons. We actually had around 100 here this year, which was the, like the second most they've ever had. But um, let's, uh, let's walk down the hallway a little bit. Um, so anyway, um, sea turtles... <laughs> They, they lay their eggs in March to like October. And um, the saying is kind of, so the, the eggs actually, the sex is actually temperature determined. So it's cool dudes, hot chicks. So if it's colder outside, they end up to be guys. And if it's warmer, they end up being girls. So kind of cool little fact there. Um, and then you walk down a little farther, you know, so obviously guys don't let her save the turtles. So a little montage to that, um, you know, plastic's gotten pretty out of hand. But yeah, so there's actually the four main species of sea turtles are the Kemp's Ridley, which is the littlest guy down here. They do get bigger than that though. Um, and then the loggerhead, the second biggest, and then the green sea turtle, which is mostly called green sea turtle because they actually eat a lot of lettuce and stuff. And then the massive leatherback. Um, here, we pretty much only get these three species. Um, so that's what you guys will see today. But uh, let's go ahead and actually get to the sea turtles because that's the cool stuff. All right, so if you come for a tour, this is essentially what you'll see through the windows. So we call this sick bay, which is essentially where all the new sea turtles come in when they're sick. Um, they each get their own tank to get healed up. But we're going to actually get you guys on the floor and show you how we how things roll around here. Let's get in there. All right, so we're going to use the mic, keep our voice down a little bit. We try and keep it quiet for the turtles so they can heal up. But this is sick bay, and essentially right now there's probably around 40 sea turtles in here. Um, and once again, these are all like newer sea turtles. Um, the main reasons they come in are cold stuns, which essentially like shuts down other organs. Um, we just got a couple in with, that have fishing hooks in their neck. Um, some of them get bitten by sharks or hit by boats. And so essentially all the sick guys are gonna come in here where we get them healed up. Um, as you can see, they're all in their own tubs. So we can treat them with different medicine. We can record how much they eat. So right here we have a little green sea turtle. Um, as you can see, this guy's swimming around really well. So he's probably done, he's probably doing very good as you can see he's healing. And then, um, but if you come over here, you can kind of see like someone who really recently came in. Um, this guy, he's, uh, his water's lower um, and he's just, he's sitting there. He's really just healing up. So that's how sick some of these guys are when they come in. Um, we actually have the netting over it so flies don't bother them and they get some shade. Um, then if you come over here. We have a big Kemp's Ridley, pretty big Kemp's Ridley. Um, this guy, I believe, came in because he's got a fish hook in his neck. So we're going to get, they're going to, you know, check that out, x-rays. They might actually have to do surgery. It's some pretty amazing work they do here um, at the Sea Turtle Hospital. Here we have the therapy pool. So essentially, um, when, when the turtles get a little healthier, we let them swim around in this big tank. Um, I'm thinking I need one of these in the fish cave, something about this size. But uh, yeah, so they all get, they get a swim and they record like how well they're swimming, make sure they're doing health, like healthy swimming type things. Um, but this is sick bay. Um, essentially sick bay gets like three water changes a day and pretty soon here we're gonna feed. So we'll film some of them feeding, making sure they're getting enough food. They record all that and then we'll show you what happens when they get healthier in Turtle Bay. All right, so that was sick bay right here. And once they get healthy, we head on over to Turtle Bay. All right, so this is Turtle Bay. It's pretty amazing. This big, massive tank right here, essentially a pool. Also need one of these in the future for sure, by the way. We're going to show you that big guy last. We're going to start over here on the left side. So everything in Turtle Bay, everything in Turtle Bay is on filtration for the most part. So these guys are actually on a system, so you don't have to drain the water and fill it back up. So right here we got Crass, another green sea turtle. He's a beaut, isn't he? And um, 
So this is, we got this broken up into multiple tanks. All these guys are healthy. Look at the guy, Andrew, over there working hard, netting, cleaning tanks, baby, while we're filming, goofing off now. Um, but yeah, um, all these guys, like as you can see, they're all swimming, doing much healthier type stuff. Howlite's gorgeous. Let's just get a clip of Howlite Ch chilling. So Howlite actually, we believe, got um, her fin bitten off by a shark. Um, so as you can see, she's got three, but she's still getting around really well. She's a gorgeous turtle, but um, yeah. Of course, she starts swimming weird when I say that. All right, so this is one of the favorites here. This is Lenny. Lenny has a disease that basically he's on his own filtration system, so he doesn't affect anybody else. He's been here for probably two or three years, um, but he's a Kemp's Ridley, about full grown. And no, he's not actually albino. Um, as cool as that would be, he's not actually albino. Um, when the Kemp's Ridleys get real big like this, they get this white coloration. But Lenny is a fan favorite here. He's been here for years and will continue to do so because of his disease. Um, but he, he's a really cool turtle. But um, we'll keep going on. We got this big guy, Triton. Um, he is a monster. For size reference, there is my hand. He is a massive sea turtle. Um, this is a loggerhead. But um, he's, I've actually helped him out since he got here. So I helped carry him in, and now he's super healthy. Um, or she, actually, is super healthy. So look at that big guy saying hi to the camera. How cool is that? Over here is Pongo. He's been here a good little while. Pongo's a Kemp's Ridley. He's actually blind in one eye. Um, so he kind of likes to swim leaning with that one head or that one angle of his head so he can see just like that. He also has some neurological damage. So he's um, they were really worried about him when he got here, although now he's doing pretty terrific, um, which is pretty awesome to see. But uh, let's see who else we got around here. We got Lepis over here, another big loggerhead. Um, beautiful turtles, though. But essentially, if we get a little pano, oh yeah, look at that! Can we check him out? Very cool. But um, but yeah, so essentially, this is Turtle Bay. If we get a little pano, there's quite a few tanks, and once again, these are all on filtration, um, except for a few tubs over here, because they were starting to run out of room in sick bay. But um, but yeah, everything here is on uh on filtration and gets its own saltwater mix every morning, which we'll show you that in the back a little bit too. But right now, as you, they're starting to feed actually. All right, so behind me is the food cart for uh, Turtle Bay. As you can see, we got we got squid for some people. We got capelin for others. Down here, we got some mackerel. Um, you'd be amazed how picky some of these sea turtles are. And like some will eat mackerel, but they won't eat capelin. Um, we got some seaweed right here too. You know, they get a nice little diet. They're living large here at Karen Beasley Sea Turtle uh, Rehab. So, but actually, I'm a feed. Sorry, I'm a feed Triton, the big guy. He's one of my faves. Look at this mackerel. I might even take a bite if you know what I'm saying. Like, it's looking pretty good. Camera, for the camera. That's it. Blood just drips in. But uh, as you can see, he's pretty stoked right now. You can tell he's ready to grub. Um, but he's a good guy. So let's let's get him fed. Here you go, big guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a big feller. He's kind of a shredder, so he'll shred his food up a little bit. So. Actually, each turtle gets their own vitamins, too. So this is calcium to help him recover up. We're going to go ahead and shove that down the, the gullet here. Get him nice and healthy. But here you go, big guy. So uh, back here, they actually just got in a new sea turtle. So they're getting all their measurements, the weights, um, figuring out what's wrong with, with her or him. And uh, But yeah, he's, he's looking pretty beat up. Maybe we'll get a little bit closer to view, but don't want to bother them. Okay. I can't tell my bruising because he's too. All right, so now it is time to show you the sea turtle of Karen Beasley. Um, her name is Snooky. She's a favorite around here. I think she's been here like three years. She got hit by a boat, so she has a buoyancy issue. So essentially, she can't die. She's stuck, kind of floating at the top.
But um, we'll show you this big girl over here. She just ate, so I think she's kind of she's chilling. But um, this is Snooky. She is roughly like about 400 pound sea turtle, a 400 pound loggerhead. Um, she's being all shy over there right now. But if you check out her tank, it's massive. Um, it's a uh, I think 5,000 gallon tank, um, and she uh, also has she's hooked up to the filtration. So if you look up top, you can see the protein skimmer and everything. Um, we'll, we'll show you guys the filtration back there and how they make the salt water too. But first, we got to get Snooky to come say what's up. All right, Captain Coin. Turtle coming through. <laughs> All right, so basically, we take each turtle out, and uh, she's about to scrub him down, make sure they stay clean, um, get any barnacles or anything else off of uh, off of her. And uh, while that's happening, they'll be doing water changes over there. Um, but yeah, so she's just scrubbing them down, getting them nice and clean. This is Capricorn, by the way. But yeah, so basically, he's getting his daily bath. They like to think they can fly a lot of the times too. There you go. Oh. That was Turtle Bay. You gotta, you know, meet the legend Snooky over there. Now I'm gonna show you back here. Oh. I'm gonna show you back here. This is uh, where, where, the, where the, all the filtration is and where the salt water is made. So um, this is a holding tank for all the salt water they make. Right now it's pretty full. Um, and this salt water gets dispersed throughout the whole hospital to keep these sea turtles healthy. It's a lower salinity so that it kills any um, barnacles or anything. Um, and the temperature stays around 76, 78. But in, if you come back here, just to kind of get an idea of all the filtration, which, you know, I, I enjoy seeing building my own stuff back home. But um, some serious filtration back here, um, like stuff you'd have for pools. Um, then we got all these carbon filters back here. Um, Another huge protein skimmer back here. Um, there, check out this. Actually, this is a massive UV light up here. Like, look at the size of this thing. Um, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Um, they got a heater and everything, but just kind of wanted to give an idea about how crazy this filtration is. But uh, let's go ahead and make a little bit of salt water. All right, so right here we got Crystal Sea Marine Mix, and one of these bad boys is going to make us 600 gallons of salt water. So there's already hot water in there, which will help this dissolve. And we're going to go ahead and just get that all up in there. Whew, salty, baby. Whoa. It's like smelling salts, man. Fun like you're going on a little kayak trip. We just mix this salt water up. And once again, this is in pretty hot water right at the moment. Um, they, they heat the water that comes into here. And uh, so this water is looking at it's about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to mix this up, and it's really going to dissolve a lot quicker than it would in cold water. And then once we get a nice mixture, we're going to go ahead and put on the cold water, and this will fill this up pretty quick. And then uh, we'll pump it into the holding tank, and you got 600 gallons of salt water for the sea turtles. All right, so that was it for the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Hospital. Uh, my outro, actually, the mic wasn't working, so I'm filming it here. But anyway, it is an absolutely incredible place. If you're around Ocean City, North Carolina, um, you gotta go check it out. It's really amazing. The tickets are super cheap. Um, and you know, go give some money to go help the sea turtles. But uh, huge shout out to Tina Sharp and uh, everybody else who interned with me. Uh, it was an awesome experience and it was really amazing being able to help those sea turtles um, and seeing them just get healthy and then be able to release them and watch them go back to where they should be. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like, subscribe, comment what you thought about the hospital. Um, I love doing stuff like this too. So check it out. Hey, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cantaloupe, cantaloupe, 75. You work for the FBI, Luke? Oh, yeah. Don't take, don't take no crimes around me. That's what we be doing back here in the saltwater room, eh? Pina colada. Pina colada.